More than 700 years ago, Robert the Bruce led 8,000 Scots to defeat Edward II's army, here at the Battle of Bannockburn. The area remains largely undeveloped today, but local tensions flared when Stirling Council approved a controversial application to build a half-mile horse track in a field below the monument. The council vote was split, public submissions were divided, and Historic Environment Scotland said it was broadly content with the plans, while the National Trust asked for government intervention. The Scottish Government has since stepped in to review the application. But one group that isn't divided are the visitors to Bannockburn. Overall, I guess I think it would detract from the area. It's not uh, respectful for the people who, who died here for the freedom of Scotland. Because I just said to my husband, oh, look, there's a load of houses, you know, and you, and you think, oh, you know. I love history, so I always think it's worth preserving. Opponents to the redevelopment believe that readily building over sites of historical interest can have negative consequences to local culture and education. But the side at the other end of the debate are also fighting for their cultural survival. Behind the track is the Scottish Harness Racing Club. From 1966 to 2022, the club met at Stirling's Corbywood Stadium before it was demolished to make way for new homes. Of the two sites offered by the council to replace it, the alternative is a risk of flooding year-round. Hamish Muirhead and Alex Smith have been involved in this legacy sport their whole lives. Alex attended his first race 74 years ago, becoming a fan, an owner and a bookie, while Hamish breeds championship-winning horses racing on tracks around the British Isles. They say this new track is their last chance to keep the sport alive in Scotland. We had approached Stirling Council for information to where we could actually get a field where we could race. This was the only one which fitted the bill. We've got to travel all the time to either York, Turpins or Ammon Valley to race because if we had a hard track in Scotland, we would get the chance to have some of these classic races here in Scotland. We well, are at the last chance to win. Both sides of this debate are fighting tooth and nail in the name of preservation. The Scottish Government has now called in the plans for review and both sides are champing at the bit to hear if any route exists to protect both heritage and history. Tony Maguire, GB News, Stirling.